we know that a mirror reflects everything in front of it. Let's find out what happens if we place two mirrors at an angle. Just do an activity at your home. Place two mirrors perpendicular to each other and find out how many images are formed. Now, change the angle of the mirror and then observe how many images are formed now. Depending upon the angle you choose, you can find number of unbroken reflections and one or more composite or partial reflections. There is a famous formula to find out the number of images formed when two plane mirrors are inclined at an angle x. The formula for number of images formed is 360 upon x degree minus 1, where x is the angle between those two mirrors. Such reflections are called multiple reflections. You might have experienced after your haircut in the barber shop, the barber holds a plane mirror behind your head at different angles. What happens over there is also the same process called multiple reflection. This multiple reflection is the same principle which is used in making of a kaleidoscope. Let's learn about the working and construction of a kaleidoscope in detail. Kaleidoscope consists of two or more mirrors or reflective surfaces positioned at an angle. A collection of objects is kept at one end of the mirrors and there is an eye hole at the other end. What you see when you look through the eye hole of a kaleidoscope will never be the same twice. While the container holding the object is usually as large as or larger than the kaleidoscope tube. Only the portion of the objects which fall on the triangular space will get reflected. This is due to the principle of symmetry. For example, if you draw a line down the center of a symmetrical object, the halves of the either side of the line seems the same. Commonly, you would say that they are the mirror images of each other. In a kaleidoscope, each repeated image is symmetrical in relation with the image which is beside it. The more precise the reflecting surfaces or mirrors are joined together, the more precise will be the resulting symmetrical images. So students, here we have learned multiple reflections and about a wonderful instrument called kaleidoscope.